to Herta Hero on FM20. Today we're going to be playing the Champions League group game against Man City. As you can see on the screen in front of you. We pulled a bit of a difficult group. We got Barcelona, Salzburg and Man City. So it's, it's going to be an interesting time. Uh, Salzburg and Barcelona, as you can see, drew in their game earlier. Some interesting groups um, so far. There's a couple of groups in here that, you know, I had originally recorded this, but I had the wrong audio setting. So it sounded terrible, so I just scrapped it and we're just going to start from here. So, um, Atletico Madrid, Leipzig, Man United and Basha Shakir. Basha Shakir. Yep, perfect. Uh, they're in Group A. You saw Group B because that's the group we're in. Bayern Munich, Lazio, Zenit and Lille in Group C. Doesn't look terribly difficult of a group. Uh, group D is Liverpool, Borussia Dortmund, Dinamo Kiev and Anderlecht. Again, not really a difficult looking group. It's going to be Liverpool and Dortmund going through. Uh, Dinamo Kiev and Anderlecht are going to fight over who gets into the Europa League. Real Madrid, Napoli, Monaco, and Dino was like Reb. This is a fruity little group. I think there's going to be there's be a surprise or two in this group. Uh, group F is Roma, PSG, Benfica, and Olympiacos. I think that group looks way more difficult than, or that group's going to be more difficult than it looks. Maybe PSG have Haaland now, so maybe not. Uh, Juventus, Ajax, Valencia, and Lokomotiv Moscow in Group G again. Not an easy looking group. And Group H ends us off with Chelsea, Porto, AC Milan and Young Boys. I would not like to be participating in that group. Um, we have had a couple of transfers. We're still waiting for Kyle, Kyle George to join. It'll be the 1st of January when he rocks up. Um, how has he been getting on in Sa Not doing too bad. Pretty decent. We've not brought anyone in but we have lost somebody. Or have we lost two? No, we just lost one. Uh, Gabriel Barbosa, Gabigol, has gone to Liverpool. Unfortunately, he had a decent start to the season for us. They came in, paid his release clause. He's gone. So, yeah. Not ideal. But, help the bank balance. And we have plenty of money in the, the, the coffers for January, should we need it. But, losing him... It's less than ideal. Schedule wise, since we we're here last, we have played uh, Borussia Mönchengladbach. Lost four three. They are our bogey team. It's relatively expected. We struggle against them all the time, regardless of what happens. Then we went and smashed Werder Bremen four nil. Um, not, not too much really to say about it. It was easy enough. And then against Hamburg. Oh my God, Hamburg. We took the lead in the 91st minute. It was 3-2. And then Asaskabar decided to clear a Viniscus Popo, who is one of our strikers, who's on loan at Hamburg. Um, Asaskabar cleared it off Arne Meyer and it went into the back of the net. So, yeah, that happened. I was, I was not happy, not best placed. So we're going into the Man City game on the back of a very irritating draw. But I still believe that we can we can get a result. We are going to go to our 4-1-2-3. Yeah, because they're both attacking, so it'd be a 3. Uh, we have Magnion in goal. It's not long until Dukar, uh, Dukare starts. Because I'm certain, I'm certain to lose it with... Magnet, he's not been not been in the best form recently. Um, Arias is going to start at right back with Nets at left back. Turnriga and Gervidal as our centre backs. Two start in front of them with Meyer and Sabazle as centre midfield. Luca Biaco and Cleonice as our wide men. And David up front. Should be a strong side. Uh, we have brought some of the younger players up to the first team for mentoring purposes because they need it. If they're going to reach their potential. Um, I've made them all available to play for either the B team or the under 19s. So they're not going to miss out on game time. I think if we were to give Ducore chances. It would not take long before he got better than Magnion. To be 
honest. Like I know Manion is better at everything bar speed. But once Ducore knows the language, I think he'll be quite the player. So that's the eleven we're starting with. This is I think this is two certs first game of the season for us. Uh, we have played primarily with the 424 because it's a tactic that suits our players. Now that we're after losing uh, Gabby Goal, maybe playing the 424 every game is not going to be the way to go, but it's still a, a job. I, I uh, sorry, a tactic that I think is probably going to get the best out of our team. Um, I'm gonna passionately say that we're underdogs. It's gonna cause an upset. They don't. Yeah, they don't care. Can we get a bit of green? Passionately tell them where I. That I have faith in them. Go out there and make it. Nope. Nobody cares. Okie dokie. So who have they got? That is an interesting transfer. They still have. Point. Well, suppose we're not that far into the future. Yeah. Yeah. We play a little bit more direct. They have Aguero playing as a deep lying forward. It's rather interesting, but okay. The game is a bit glitchy, and I don't know why. If I pause it, has that fixed it? Seems to have. Two cert gets out of clean set. Could have left it for nets, but instead decided against doing the smart thing, and now Raheem Sterling is running at us. Nets blocks it, and Kuna, or Sergio Aguero. Mannion manages to push it behind. <laughs> Thankfully, push it behind, pushed it behind. Nets heads the, that one clear, but it just kind of ends in nothing. So we're going to ask the lads for a bit of creativity. They have a centre-back that's been booked now as well. Gervidal to take the free kick to Luca Nets, Arne Meyer. Cluanise. Looks for David but doesn't get there. Meyer puts David through. And Ederson manages to stop it from going past him. Luca Biacco's having a very poor game. I, I suppose he he was first choice for, in the first season. Didn't really get a look in last year. And now he's being expected to come straight back in and be the main man again. Um, I don't know how he's going to do with that. I'm going to say I'm not happy. Jonathan David, you're having a bit of a, a mare. But I have faith in you. You don't care. Yeah, Luca Biacco really struggling. Um, I don't really want to make a change just yet. Because for the last 15 or so minutes, we might go to 4 4 We can't quite get on the end of the free kick. And now Sergio Aguero is just bombing on. Nets just lets him walk past. And Aguero... Slot to pass Mannion. What in the sweet baby Jesus kind of celebration was that? He like dove and his legs like flipped over him. Mental. Mental. Luca Biacco is having such a poor game. Come on lads. Do more. Luca Biacco isn't having the best game of his career. No shit. David wins the ball. He's all by himself. Gets tackled and it's not a penalty. Turnrega gets it back to Mannion. We are going to make a change here. We're going to press Bastone and put it on his weaker foot because he. It, why are we not doing anything to Sergio Aguero? One of the best strikers in the world. We're just going to leave him run around. This is his, sometimes Sydney Lobo is a bit of an, a, a bit of a fool. Arne Meyer gets it out to Cleonise. What's he going to do with it? Oh, he's gone past Kyle Walker. Just can't get the pass to Arne Meyer. Phil Foden, just on as a sub, comes running down and... Please say that's not a sending off for two start. Please don't send two start off. Yeah, he's off. God damn it. Alright, well, there goes our plan of playing uh, two strikers. 
I should have taken two start off when he picked up that first yellow card. Sergio Aguero has made it two. And now we're going to demand more again. I can't believe two start cards have sent off. The whole reason I put him into the team was to stop Man City controlling the game. And all they've done is control the game. We've had 39% possession. Kyle Walker's even taken shots at us. De Bruyne whips it in. Gets cleared. Arne Meyer just clears it to nobody. I want to shout creativity, but don't think it's going to make any bit of a difference. Man City are on the tear again. Phil Foden. Thankfully puts that one wide. It's not been a great game. Oh, they just brought on Camavinga. Arias, take the throw. We're going to make substitutions after this. No. Alright, tactical change time. Uh, swap the 2v over to Yanisa. You're going to go... No, I want you to go here. No, in the middle. Thank you. Alright, so Arnie Meyer, you can be a deep lane playmaker here. We're going to make you a Mazella on attack. Mazella on attack. We're going on fine. He can... Or make Arnie Meyer the attack and we bring on Ardebeo for Turneriga. That is all changes made. Gonna go more direct, less of the wide through the middle. Let's take that off. Um pa yeah passing this I suppose to be passing the space. Mm. All because Luca Biacco had a poor game and two sarcasms gets himself sent off. We are playing. Or we're not even being outplayed by that much. Bernardo Silva and De Bruyne have just made our defence look silly. Camavinga with the ball. Sabazlai steals it off Foden, but Camavinga picks it back up. And now Man City are on the attack again. Cleonise with the crunching tackle and our substitutions are about to be made if he'd been sent off just as those changes were about to be made i would have been pissed the x-man city center back almost scored against them i thought about playing him because of the fact that he's x-man city but then i thought maybe he'll get himself sent off or have a very very poor game like he's had recently but no he actually had probably our best opportunity and with that result, we are bottom of our group. Well, we came back from fairly similar. We had a really poor start last year as well. So I I feel like we could come back. Um, everyone was so bad. Everyone was so bad. Sydney Lobo was like, don't worry, lads. You were unlucky today. furious that is such a poor result we played so very very poorly i think just definitely has to be changes for the next game we probably should have just gone all out attack for that that one just played our 4-2-4 and just bail on but instead no no i decided to be all smart and try and be tactical and you know slightly more defensive playing a dm and it just ended up with us not having a dm and 10 men so for the next episode we'll come back for why not the barcelona game in october because i did say i wanted to play all the away games in the champions league so the barcelona game and then we play salzburg in december so it'll be a bit of a gap in between but that's fine that'll be probably the decider of whether we finish third or fourth in the group depending on how Salzburg do in their game as well. If we can get points off Barcelona, 
if we get a draw at home uh, away to Barcelona, I think we'll be okay. Probably we need to beat Salzburg both times, regardless of what happens. So, um, that's quite unfortunate. We managed to lose Gabi goal and lose Man City in the Champions League in one episode. I know you're probably wondering how do I become this fantastic at football manager? Well, hit the subscribe button. Uh, if you hit the subscribe button, you are 99% more likely to have something really good or really bad happen to you. Or something completely meh. Who's to say? The only way to find out is to hit that subscribe button. Um, and maybe the like button as well while you're down there. Because they're pretty close to each other. If you're on mobile, they're on top of each other. If you're on PC, they're not too far from each other. Just leave a like, comment and subscribe. Share the video with everyone. And uh, thank you very much for watching, fellas. Um, it was a good one. Well, no, it wasn't. It was terrible. Thank you very much for watching, fellas. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye!